Greetings to you all. I welcome you to the class 8 English unit number 7. And today we are going to see a prose that is cyber safety. As you all know that computers or mobile phones are the most important devices for day to day life. This lesson cyber safety talks about risk and threat on internet and the safety measures to avoid them. Come, let's see. Dear students, do you use internet? For what purpose do you use internet? For playing video games, chatting with your friends all night, etc. Have you ever chatted with other people online? I mean unknown person? Do you think is it safe? And do you know what is cyber safety? Cyber safety is the safe and responsible use of information and communication technologies. It is about keeping information safe and secure. This lesson, cyber safety, is about the technology of the present world, its benefits and negative aspects. This proves Cyber safety is presented in a comic script where you can take characters and speak. Alright, before seeing the prose, let us learn new words used in this prose. Screw cage, not screw catch, screw gauge, which means measuring tool. Browse. To scan, to casually look through in order to find items of interest. Frighten. Meaning of this word is scared. Online predator, a new word termed in this prose. Online predator, which means someone who sexually exploits a child over the internet. Bother, to disturb or annoy. Cyber, relating to or characteristic of culture of computers, information technology and virtual reality. Finally, aggressive, which means prone to behave in a way that involves attacking or arguing. Okay. Let us see the pros, cyber safety. One day, Gladin asked his mother about the working of screw gauge. Screw gauge means measuring tool. She advised him to browse about it in the internet. Gladin asked his mother, can we find it in the internet? His mother replied him that Internet is a great tool where anyone can gather information to gain knowledge. Gladin thanked his mother for her reply. Now he was happy because exact in what he wanted is he got it from the internet. Gladin's father asked where are the kids Gladin and Ronnie. Their mother replied, Gladin is gathering information from the internet for his science project. Since Gladin asked his mother a doubt, she could not help him out so he guided him to browse the internet. But Ronnie was frightened of something. Their father replied, Oh, what happened? Is anybody threatening her online? Now the mother asked him a question. Are you suspecting any online predators? Oh goodness. The mother was shocked about it. Students, do you know the meaning of online predators? It means 
someone who sexually exploits a child over the internet now rani's father calls rani and started inquiring her my dear what happened you seem dull for his question rani replied no dad i'm okay don't worry i'm here to help you tell me now how can i help you a father asks her the girl opens her mind and says that she is really scared she used to chat every day and he knows her name age address and everything here she talks about a stranger with whom she chatted Rani informed her father that someone chatted with her and used bad words. He also wants her not to discuss about the chat with anyone in her family. Otherwise, he could cause harm to her family members. Her father advised her not to respond to any of his messages. After some days, he would not chat. if the person bothered further i would report to the cyber police now the girl thanked her father for his good advice her mother advised her husband dear please advise our children how to use the internet wisely father started advising the children by giving important points Online facilities are for sharing among known members. Never chat with anybody until you know them like classmates, friends, family members, etc. The father advised that you should keep their personal details like photos, phone number, other number very private. His son Gladin asked his father, "Why dad?" For his question, he replied that stranger may use their profile and misuse their information without their knowledge. Internet or mobile helps us to connect with people around the world. Allow us to watch movies, listen to music, play games and enjoy various other activities nowadays a lot of technologies are that to misuse our things so children you should be very careful with your personal details the father also advised them that they should not get addicted to the power house of entertainment their mother asked her husband dear tell them what happens if someone is addicted to it the father replied yes a good question my dear mobile addiction causes several serious problems such as headache we can eyesight sleep disorders depression stress social isolation and financial problems etc children do you know what is we can eyesight continuous watching of the monitor for long time without blinking so the liquid in the eyes gets dried off so the result is weakened eyesight this weakened eyesight causes stress depression etc finally the father told them we cannot ignore the beneficial of the internet and mobile phone to our life educationally and socially but 
we must limit their usage to take charge of our lives finally the mother also replied that too much of anything is good for nothing dear students i conclude this lesson cyber safety by advising you that the internet can be a wonderful place for learning shopping or playing games and talking to our friends but unfortunately there are also predators who may try to harm you in order to be safe online it is important for you to be aware of the danger you must limit its usage to take charge of our lives so the main theme of the lesson is too much of anything is good for nothing i hope you all would have understood this post very well and thank you for watching this video